Hey, my name is Derek Schultz. In a little over two weeks, I'll be starting my next class, which is called Algorithmic Filmmaking. Um, it's actually the first class in sort of what I'm like coining as like post AI. Um, and it's going to explore how we make non narrative filmmaking using new technologies. So many of you have probably taken a class with me before uh, where I just teach machine learning. This will be a mix of machine learning, some algorithmic techniques. Uh, creative coding, a bunch of other things. So um, I'm really excited about it. I just want to tell you a little bit about what we're going to do in the class. Um, so if you haven't signed up, maybe you take the chance and decide to take it before uh, before it starts. So first off, this is very different for me uh, than past classes in that it's an asynchronous class. So previously, maybe you've seen a recording from me where uh, I've taught a class of live like 15, 20 students. This one will be fully async. So every week you'll get about two hours of lecture plus some additional materials. Um, and you'll just get them as recordings. So it'll work for anyone across the globe, uh, no matter your time zone, because I know it's been an issue in the past. Um, we'll still do a Slack channel. We'll still have lots of ways to interact with me directly, um, but a lot of it will be done asynchronously, so you can do it at your leisure. Um, so I'm really excited about trying this out and seeing this works. You know, I've, I've had a lot of people say, they really want to take your classes, but I can't because you know I live in Japan, or I live in Australia, um, which I totally get. So we're going to try this out and see how it goes. Um, next, let's talk a little bit about just what we're going to make. Um, so if you've been seeing any of my videos I've been producing recently, um, maybe some of my dance videos, some of my scream scene videos, other things, you know, I'm really interested in the idea of like a video as a data set. So we'll talk a little bit about how to make a video data set. So we'll talk about how to algorithmically chop up a, a movie, a uh, TV show, other things you find online um, to turn everything into smaller clips. So we'll look at how to do that. Next, because it's a filmmaking class, we'll talk a lot about how to explore that data set, how to sort of classify all the pieces, right? So we'll talk about shot types, long shots, medium shots, close-ups. Um, we'll talk about how to find people or objects in individual pieces. So maybe you want to look at, uh, I don't know, a classic for me will be like, we'll try to find cats in every in every movie that we look through, that sort of thing. Um, and then we'll look at how to do match cuts. So if you've seen any of my dance videos, you know that's like a big thing that I look for, uh, pose detection, those sort of things. Um, so we'll basically use this to sort of uh, create a data set of our video, along with additional tag data, um, which we can then leverage in our next section, which will be about sequencing. So, you know, you know, the big challenge about making a video is actually editing it. Editing it takes the longest time. Um, so talk about algorithmic techniques for editing and sequencing. So we'll look at uh, how to make stuff rhythmic, how to actually use audio to guide our our. Um, our edits and those sort of things. Um, and then we'll talk a little bit about just like how to also edit for length, um, how to use some of the data we're exploring to begin to tell like non-narrative, but stories nonetheless. Um, and on top of all that, we're also going to look at like sort of the history of this material um, all the way back to like the 20s and 30s. People have been making non-narrative films using different types of algorithmic techniques. So we'll actually look at uh, the history of that work. Um, we'll look at work from, you know, Joseph Cornell, all the way up to Christian Markley. Um, so lots of filmmakers have been using these techniques. And maybe they weren't using the same code or the same libraries we were, uh, but they were still making really interesting things. We'll take a look at some of that as well. Um, yeah, so seven weeks of class, um, and we'll do a show until at the end, like we always do, which I think will be really, really fun. Um, so I'm really excited for this class. Uh, last thing is, if you are already ready to go, um, definitely check out two projects for me in the in the past couple of years. Um, you can check out the Scream Scenes project we'll link to in our video. Um, Scream Scenes was a thing I did last October um, where I took a data set of horror films, like about 75 horror films, um, edited them in a different way every day. So there are 31 videos, there's a lot of work, um, but it actually taught me a lot about this and a lot of what we're gonna learn in, in this class comes from that material. Um, and lastly, I have an FFmpeg class from maybe about a year and a half ago now. Um, and it's all about FFmpeg. And we'll look at some basic stuff doing FFmpeg in this class. Uh, it turns out it's the easiest way to sort of like combine and uh, edit video without having to open it up in like Premiere or something. Um, so we'll look at how to do that. Uh, so yeah, I'm really excited about those. Check out those two videos if you're really excited to get going. Um, and then I hope to see everyone in a little over two weeks uh, for algorithmic filmmaking. And I'll drop the link to sign up for the class. Um, in the notes below. And if you are a Patreon or YouTube member, you know you get a discount to those classes. So uh, I'm already trying to make this class as affordable as possible. And if you're already supporting me um, with a monthly donation, you will get it at even a deeper discount. So yeah, hope to see you then soon. Um, drop any questions about the class or anything else I can uh, answer.